Hello, Crafty Queen, and welcome to Paper Rain. It's me, Rachel Bellamy, AKA Queenpreneur, and today I'm going to take you on a journey of how you can take an ugly page, because I don't know if you're like me, but I can make some ugly jelly pools. <laughs> but I'm learning that with enough steps, enough la labor of love, enough effort, you can take an ugly page and make it manageable or at least salvageable. So if you're interested in how I take a page from this to this, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is the challenge. How do we save the ugly print? Now, I don't know, I have a lot of ugly prints. Now, you probably don't, but if you do, I'd love to hear how you go about saving the ugly print. What I'm going to share with you are some of my principles. I have like 10-ish, maybe 11, and one of them is the numbers off. But anyway, let's just go in there. So apply grace. What do I mean by that? Apply grace means give yourself a break. Not every piece has to be a masterpiece. This piece was clearly not a masterpiece. And so when I look at it, I, I have to want to be open to the beauty. And by that I'm saying, find something on the page that you like. For me, what I liked was that this is a, a, um, a clean off print. So it had lots of color. Now, the third thing I think that blocks a lot of people is fear. What's the worst that could happen? That it's ugly and we have to paint it all black and put white dots on it, okay? <laughs> so then my fourth one, is add colors you like. Why? If you add colors you like, you instantly like something about the print. <laughs> so I went and picked some of my colors. I'm a jewel tones girl, and so I got out some oranges and some greens, and then I'm gonna use these stencils to create interest. Stencils are a fast way to take something that's plain and bland and make it interesting. So I'm gonna put some of these uh, colors down on here, and trust me, this is hilarious when you watch this because I really didn't know where I was going but I knew that if I put enough layers and enough depth on it, I would leave, I would get somewhere. And so I'm gonna put this purple metallic because I think metallics can save anything. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna throw down one of these um, Stencil Girl stencils that I just have handy. That's, that's why you're seeing them <laughs> a lot lately. They're just literally sitting right there on the side, my, on the side of my desk. And so, wow, what I realized is I really dislike that tan color. So I'm gonna put some more color down. I mean, you know, just keep adding layers. So I put down, when in doubt, one of my favorite colors is teal. So I'm gonna add some, some turquoise teal to the mix and hopefully that'll help out a little bit. I grab another one of these Stencil Girl stencils. I'm gonna put it on top and um, hope for the best. There will be a lot of hope for the best going on here. And uh, you're gonna see, I'm not getting, I'm not gonna get a lot where. Oh, here I just have some, I have some prints that are on the side. So I'm gonna take that teal and put it on another print so I don't waste paint. Cause you know, we don't like to waste our paint. It's so expensive. So here I use um, another one of the Tracy Batista's um, Stencil Girl stencils. Again, I'm just trying to cover up some of that tan. And I actually like the tan color, but for some reason, ugh, it was driving me crazy on this print. So here's my thing. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and change directions. If you'll notice, I went down this path with the metallics and the purple, and then I was just like, no, this is still not working. Something's gotta give. And so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep trying different things. I'm gonna try some more stencils. I'm gonna keep holding it up. And you know, when in doubt, one of my one of my go-tos is just to add black paint through a stencil. That always gives it some interest and in, and in, in, and gets a picture for me closer to complete. Um, but I say, nah, let's just keep putting some paint on there. Cause what I'm doing is I'm realizing that I don't really like that tan, that tan color is driving me crazy. And so one of my other recommendations is look at the piece with new eyes and new angles. And so I'm gonna see, you know, maybe if I turn it this way or this way or, and what I see here is like, oh wow, I see some flowers and I see this like mud block at the bottom. And so maybe you could act like, you know, this is flowers coming out of dirt, but no, 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 I'm gonna keep going <laughs> and I'm gonna try something. Yeah, I'm not afraid to put it. Yeah, so I, I grab this little um, tool that I have handy and I add some gold or some color. It didn't do anything at all, but in my mind, I felt like I was moving paint. So I had to be getting closer to saving this piece. And I'm gonna try this, um, another tool I have to add some texture and depth. Uh, again, 
I just go for layer after layer after layer. Again, what is the worst that can happen? We make mud, which I'm going to do soon, <laughs> and we have to start over, or we just keep going and keep hope alive, and uh, something will emerge out of the out of the piece. And so I'm I'm sitting here contemplating what I'm gonna do with this piece. I have found this. Uh, I was in Target at during the Easter season, and I found this. Uh, tool for lack of better words a plastic device and so you don't you can't see but I'm adding yellow paint yeah I picked up this yellow trust me I was I was just I was really just trying anything at this point because I'm at what I'm doing is breaking all kinds of rules right like the colors that I'm using logically <laughs> should not work together but I I'm persistent and I'm and I'm willing to try stuff and I need to go to work at this point too so anyway I found this little tool it was in the Easter section it was like a minions Easter egg thing but it was really cool and so I figured, hey this is right here let's try it and I didn't do anything else but make mud look at that I mean I was literally making ew I think I at this point I'm thinking I've gone from bad to worse and so sometimes you just kind of take a break but no, not me. I'm going to keep going because I think that there is something salvageable here. I think this piece has, at least it has interest. I mean, it's got a lot of layers, a lot of depth. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to, I'm going to pull paint off this. I don't know what made me do it, but I, I really liked it. So I put it up one of my combs and I put paint on and then I kind of scraped the paint off and it gave it some texture and dimension and, and it was really cool. And I just kept going. I kept pulling paint off. Again, at this point, we're just trying to make it so that it, it, it's interesting. And so I'm moving some of the not dry paint around a little bit. And um, at this point, I'm like, I don't know what this big yellow blob in the middle is doing. So when in doubt, use some stamps to give it some texture. So I pull out my little handy dandy stamps and I start stamping away. I'm gonna use black ink just to try to unify it. When in doubt, I always use text stamps. They're, they're good for adding visual interest and um, making the piece cohesive. I use some little dots that I had and I use some bigger dots and uh, just trying to pull the piece together. <laughs> And at this point, I really don't know where it's going because it's still those 10 pieces are driving me cuckoo. But I'm keeping hope alive because one, I'm recording. And two, I believe that there's beauty in everything. So we're just going to keep playing and we keep playing and we keep stamping. And then I'm like, you know, I really got to go to work. And this piece just needs some more love a lot more love than I have the time to give it. So I'm gonna twist and turn and then I'm just gonna put it down. And <laughs> in my mind, I'm envisioning what I could do with it. I could make some flowers and I could put the words bloom where you're planted or something. But I just say, you know what, I gotta go to work. So I am going to put it down and come back to it. And over the course of a couple of days, I do come back to it. So here I'm showing you an example that, you know, this piece here was ugly. I hated this piece. I was like, there's no way that I can salvage this piece. And somehow it came together. So this that's half the problem here, right? I believe, <laughs> I believe that this picture can come together. And so persistence, I am. And so this is what it looked like bef at the end of the day before I went to work and then I came back at night and I put some orange paint I put some black marks I mean mark I just started making marks I stenciled in this little white because I don't know at this point I'm just trying anything I'm so I add all kinds of little marks and pencil and so one of the things I say is trust your instincts and your intuition so I kept looking at the piece and I said what is bothering me about this piece well, what was bothering me was all those tan pieces and so I just start making marks and I start adding color and you still see like those pink lines you see those are coming they come from a paint marker and those are turquoise lines they came from paint markers the black lines on there came from paint markers and so here I am just adding these little dots again just for interest to this uh, piece but I think that was kind of my my big takeaway you know other than the other than the, the points that I've given you but in addition is you know really just give yourself some time to play and no pressure, right? Like at the end of the day, if this didn't work out, so what? Like, 
who cares? <laughs> you know, I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the challenge. I enjoyed making these little dots, right? What you can hear is my kids are screaming around me. I am in a state of bliss making these little dots. I have tuned them completely out. <laughs> that is the art of being a mom. I have completely tuned them out and they are, you know, pulling on my leg, my skirt probably. And I'm just happily making these little dots. <laughs> so again, remember why you do art. For me, art is a way for me to um, work out things. It's a way for me to process emotions. It's a way for me to just slow down in my fast paced life. And so just remember that, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, if this picture didn't work out, I could literally put gesso all over it and start over. Or I could do the unthinkable and throw it away. But I caution you, don't throw those pieces away because one of our first things was apply grace and the second one was look for the beauty, right? And there is beauty. And so, okay, now here I'm getting, I'm getting jiggy with it, right? And so now I have taken out one of my paint pit markers and I'm holding it very loosely so that, so that I can easily kind of make this kind of abstract mark around the stencil. Uh, again, I'm just adding some character to this piece. That's what we're going for at this point is character. And this piece has a lot of character. And don't be afraid to mix colors, especially um, in this case, this is a great example of colors that should not work <laughs> and probably weren't intended to work. But because I was persistent, somehow I, I made it cohesive and brought all the pieces together. And so you see me here just adding some more turquoise because I have that turquoise line. And I figured I needed some more turquoise to bring that color in. And I still am frustrated <laughs> by the tan pieces that are peeking out. And so I'm going to do what I know works is grab one of my spray um, uh, markers. I'm sorry, my, uh, you know how you put the sprays into a marker yeah okay here it is I put my delusion spray into a marker and I literally am covering up the pieces that I don't like <laughs> you know when in doubt just cover them up and so that's what I'm doing the little tan pieces that I can see I am covering them up with the little delusions ink and then I'm gonna make some kind of like marks so that it doesn't look like all I was doing was covering up I'm kind of writing this kind of um, script that I write that doesn't really mean anything but to me it means something and voila, my piece is finished. My ugly piece is, oh, okay, here I'm trying to show you, you know, I could put some words on there, a quote, I wouldn't use that quote, but I could put a quote on here and I could even put a frame on it and uh, call it done, right? And so I uh, look at the depth. I mean, you, you saw how many layers, I mean, this thing has probably has, I don't know, 20 layers. I don't know. What is that? What was that commercial they used to have with the, the lollipop? How many layers to the center? That's kind of what, how many layers does it take to make a jelly print that's ugly into something that at least you're not wanting to throw away. So here's some final pictures just so you can see all of the details and the depth and the stages that this piece went through. Again, keep hope alive and hopefully you'll, you'll have fun like I did and your, la your final piece will We'll have some character and some personality and you'll learn a couple things along the way. I, ho I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed um, sharing this time with you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would bless me if we could hang out some more. Thank you so much for watching. It has been my pleasure and my treat. Bye-bye.